So I was able to convince Harshita to leave her job at Citibank and join me as a co-founder in this new journey. Can you share a little bit about Grey Labs? Every technology has a life cycle. In the beginning, uh, they are not uh, established use cases. What can be done? It is not that matured enough. I enjoy that early uh, wala phase, right? Early mover me a benefit hota hai ki you get to experiment on a lot of things. India as a market hot topic of conversation. Is it big enough? Over time, we started learning ki selling to an enterprise is not about selling to one person. There is business, IT, information. security legal compliance finance procurement sat log hote hain culture is not about that swanky offices and uh, swags given and all those things i personally feel that is how much you care for your team members for a founder what's the secret to a happy marriage while it may sound like ki saath mein kaam karna iske alag challenges hain as husband wife i think it has its own strengths Hey everyone, welcome to the Matrix Moments podcast. I'm excited to introduce Aman and Harshita, who were earlier founders of Cogno AI and now founders of a new company called Grey Labs, and we have the privilege of partnering with them at the seed round. Uh, welcome, Aman. Welcome, Harshita. Glad to have you here. I'm going to start with some personal stories. Your background and past has been covered in a lot of different pods, so we are not going to do that. But uh, when was the first time you made money? What did you do? How did it turn out? So the first time I made money was actually in the second year of college. So at that time, what happened was that I had started writing blogs. So there was this publication, Wiley Publications. So there is a very famous book, Resni Khalidi, the physics uh, book uh, for J preparation. So for them, I was writing blogs, and like I used to earn around five hundred rupees per blog. This was second year of college, and then later on, I uh, also like ran a business of content writing while in college itself. And at that time, I was making like decent money. So yeah, that was the first time I started earning money. And then uh, like Cogno happened. Resnik Halliday brings back a lot of nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> What's your story, Aman? In 2013, when I cleared uh, J Advanced, got a decent rank. So a lot of people started reaching out to me about uh, my IIT J preparation story, right? Uh, back then it was called IIT J. I'm sure the same for you. So uh, a friend suggested that uh, instead of talking to people individually, why don't you create a blog, right? So that's when I created a blog called Aman Goel IIT B dot blogspot dot com. Uh, it's still there. I don't uh, maintain it anymore because of lack of time. Uh, so because that blog became reasonably popular i wrote about my preparation strategies balancing out between board exams and je and so on and so forth so because of that a few companies uh, edtech startups reached out to me so one of the edtech startups who was building uh, like a content platform for iit je preparation they had reached out and i had created some uh, you know uh, solutions to je questions for them so that was my first earning i think and uh, they paid at that time some 13000 rupees for about a week's worth of work and after that uh, you know uh, i did a lot of freelancing uh, later on uh, in the in the similar space but that was my first taste of uh, earning money so both in content marketing yeah. very interesting yes. yeah yep. stories are important founders go through a lot of highs and lows but these are very rarely talked about so during the cogno ai journey what was your darkest moment how did you get through it and what lessons did it leave with you So in 2020, hmm. so we did a lot of lateral hiring, hmm. and it went terribly bad. Okay. Okay. So every person that we were hiring, I mean, uh, there was some problem. Actually, later on, in retrospect, we figured out that it was a culture misfit uh, issue because hmm. uh, once you hire laterals, and if their culture does not align with your company, then hmm. it is very likely to fail that hiring piece. So at that time it was very difficult to run the company. So at that time we had to manage it somehow. We like promoted people internally, coached them, and we we managed it all. But yeah, that was a pretty difficult time. Uh, for me, it was slightly uh, in 2018 actually. So I had originally started Cogno with a friend of mine uh, from IIT Bombay uh, before Harshita joined in. So he abruptly left the company, uh, wanted to pursue something else, uh, and it was a short two-day notice. when he left at that time we were one intern one full time employee operating out of our 2 bhk flat in ghatkopar so it was a difficult time because suddenly co-founder quitting everybody starts questioning you right because uh, you you leave your uh, job offers and placement offers from the campus saying that i will build a venture and then suddenly co-founder exit is a big event customers were asking me my parents were a lot worried because at that time i was like one year out of college so my parents were very worried and uh, so for raksha bandhan i had to go to my hometown and i had to face my parents and sister in such a situation where company was on the verge of shutting down 
so i think uh, that was one of the most uh, difficult uh, durations of uh, cogno but fortunately we so i was able to convince harshita to leave her job at city bank and join me as a co-founder in this new journey so after she joined uh, within a short span of time things started getting much better so we distributed the roles and responsibilities and whatever you know friction that was there between me and my earlier co-founder whatever learnings were there we uh, wrote it down improved everything and started distributing the roles and responsibilities between the two of us and that helped us uh, get back on track but it was a difficult situation because i had to buy out the shares of my co-founder and uh, we were left with like less than uh, 5 lakh rupees in the bank account so almost like nothing at that time like co-founders are also like ultimately there's so much mutual trust and belief right Correct. that maybe if it's alone you might not even not do it but just because there's someone else who believes in the mission it sometimes gives you the confidence to yeah uh, and take the, a shot right? you know all so, the problems aside you get into a deep shock when this happens because i did not see that uh, happening uh, where a uh, co-founder quits on a very short notice it it's usually a gradual process where you both mutually decide that uh, okay this pr- idea this problem statement is not working and we need to do something else right and in that process maybe one of them decides to move out and that is okay but here uh, things were not going as bad we had a few paying customers we had some of the largest uh, banks as our customers already and suddenly it was a shock to me that my co-founder decided to exit Uh, but then i respect the decision matlab everybody has their own preferences everybody has their own choices and of course i don't know if everyone knows this but both of you are now married to each other how do you manage work life and personal life together what are the spoken or unspoken rules right because work life balance for two of you is probably very different i think i have one life work and life are like both very coexistent in that and i think i enjoy it honestly but yeah uh, like how we do is that we divide the roles like very strictly if he is looking at sales marketing all the customer facing roles and i am looking at product and tech there is a clear segregation we might discuss with each other what is to be done and uh, whatever but it it is never the case so so what happens is that it's the other person's decision like whoever is handling that department it's final their decision and uh, nobody overrides it right and we both trust each other that okay you are taking this decision i may not agree with it uh, but uh, yeah i i uh, kind of trust you and kuch agar garbad hota hai so we'll just manage it together so that is how we handle it and yeah i honestly personally love that uh, intermixing of work life uh, uh, and personal life same matlab itna challenge nahi aaya i think uh, as long as you create segregation and boundary that uh, this is your territory this is my territory in terms of decision making uh, we agree to each other's decision and we respect that and if something goes wrong that's okay we are at the end of the day like not nobody is perfect and some if let's say she takes a wrong product decision or i take a wrong sales uh, business side of decision that's fine matlab in business nobody can be perfect things will go wrong all the time so you have you have to face the problems together and then you have to work towards it but you know uh, i i'll tell you pranay there are lot of benefits of us working together there is complete trust between each other she doesn't have to worry that i have access to bank accounts and finances of the com- company and uh, she has no double thought in mind that you know if i may do something wrong i may uh, you know do something wrong in terms of bank account financial irregularities and those kind of thing so that mutual trust is there between the founders uh, that helps a lot and you don't question the intent of the person on pretty much everything you know that this person is not going to do something which will screw me in either way right so that helps a lot because a large part of the peace of mind is just making sure that you have the right relationship with your co-founders so wo peace of mind aapko mil jata hai so you can now fully focus on the customer without worrying ki if i am sitting with a customer piche kya chal raha hai or if she is building the product aage kya chal raha hai right so all those things so uh, i think while it may sound like ki saath mein kaam karna iske alag challenges hain as husband wife i think it has its own strengths uh, which which has created a lot of benefit for us like our traits are highly complementary so value system is same traits are complementary so so that actually helps in in managing things together ha so when she says this that traits are complementary for example she is very detail oriented so that's where product and engineering roles are better suited to her i am more of a macro level person ki what is the 2 3 5 year view of the company or the market so for me the business side roles are much suited uh she is slightly conservative when it comes to taking risks i am more of aggressive when it com- comes to taking risks and uh, you know taking decisions which have slight uncertainty so there is a joke between the two of us ki if there are two founders like her company will not start if there are two founders like me company will be so gambled out 
So both of us balance out each other in that sense as well. And both, by the way, this this works equally well in professional life as well as personal life as well. In personal life, you face similar situations, right? Ki, uh, we have divided roles and responsibilities. Ki this is the part of her work. For example, she absolutely hates finance, accounting, income tax return. You know, CA sends a mail, ki send your last quarter bank statement. Abhi, day before yesterday, he sent an email, ki return filing, karna, bank statement, bhejo. So she hates all of this part, so I handle it. Same way, some part of household activities, which I don't like it, she handles it. Usme waisa nahi hai ki, uh, you know, why is she doing as a female or why am I doing that as a male? Kuch nahi hai. Run household like a company. Ki at the end of the day, household should succeed and do well. Both of us should optimize for our time. Usme jisko, jo cheez mujhe nahi pasand hai, she picks it up. Jo cheez usko nahi pasand hai, I pick it up. Doesn't matter ki wo, like male, female distinction, wo, wo, all of that we keep aside. Yeah, so it's like running a house, running a company. It's same for yeah. okay. us, essentially. <laughs> same principles. Yeah. Interesting. So you said value system, trust, faith, complementary skills, and it carries over from personal life to work. Life. Absolutely. Awesome. When you get home, do you talk about work? Do you leave it in the office? And if you want to sort of just wind down and relax, like what does that uh, look we like. talk about yeah. work also, yeah. so that's yeah. fine. I mean, it's it's uh, so as a way strict rule, nahi hai. Yeah. so right. we relax also, we talk about work also, everything. Okay. I'll tell you one routine that we follow is that after 10 o'clock, once our parents have, my parents stay with me, once they sleep, we both go down and take a walk for about half an hour, one hour. Uh, it helps in better digestion of the food and staying healthy, as well as at, that's our time to think about our uh, you know, what is our future? And our future includes our personal life as well as professional life, both. So we discuss anything and everything, right, uh, uh, in, in, the, in these evening walks. So there are some work-related discussions, obviously, that we improve our product mein kya improve kare, company mein next year, better revenue, kaise leke aaye, right? How do we improve? Those are more of retrospections, introspections, where we go deep, uh, dive deeper that we have decisions liye, kya improve kiya ja sakta tha. and that happens. Matlab, th these are mixed discussions which personal professional sub discuss. Hota hai. Ki, matlab, as stupid things as that cook has not made food at home today, to things like that the customer meeting has been very good, it has made a feature in the product, it will go to the market. Mein, matlab, so, it's a mix and match. Hota hai. And the, the larger theme is that what how do we together take our lives to a better position every single day. Vaisa hai. So it's management meetings for life. Exactly. Right. And oh, rows hote hai, without fail. Rows, matlab, rows, das, sade, das baje, hum niche ja ke rows walk karte hai, matlab, that's a ritual. Just switching gears a little bit, right? You've both done well in life. Why start another company? What gives you the motivation? I think uh, doing well in life and starting a company are two independent things for me. Matlab, uh, running a company is all about creating something which, uh, which for which we are excited and engaging us, ourselves in meaningful work, right? That's what goes in that part. Money will be made on the side. Rahega, aap, uh, if, if, uh, put it the other way, ki, jo main bolta hon, ki risk adjusted. You, are, you will make more money in a job compared to business. So doing another business is more like ki pasand hai, ek aur, uh, ek aur product banate hai, ek aur market make business banate hai, kuch exciting karte hai, risk lete hai, kuch naya karte hai, rather than saying ki yaar, paisa ban gaya, matlab, hum log bore ho jayenge, yaar. we are 28 years old, uh, hum agar shanti se baithenge, bore ho jayenge, ek badi company mein kahin pe job wagera karenge, hum pakka bore ho jayenge. So life mein kuch wo excitement chahiye, life mein kuch na kuch chalte rehna chahiye. So business is our way to get that thrill. And for me, I, I always want to do better than how I have done in the previous time. So irrespective of whatever the outcome is, I'm like, can it be done better? Can it be done better? So I think it's a never ending journey. And when there is energy, it should be done. And see, in India, our GDP per capita is less, everything is cheap. So you have made 1-2 crore rupees, so you can live a good life. You can go to the hometown, you will live like a king. So it's not that if you have made 1-2 crore, then you have made a good company, like Google, people are making money, all of your money is made. So I'm sure you have made money, you are also working. So it's more about doing meaningful work, being excited about it, पैसा बनता रहेगा वो तो मतलब if you do good work पैसा बनता रहेगा so कोई full stop नहीं है कल को जितना हमने पैसा बनाया शायद उसका ten times twenty times और पैसा बन जाएगा तब भी मतलब entrepreneurship is more like a passion rather than uh, uh, it doesn't end of saying we we don't have a milestone in mind कि इतना पैसा बन गया तो life में काम करना छोड़ देंगे वैसा नहीं because we enjoy our work रोज सुबह उठ के office जाके काम करने में मजा आता है वैसा है no completely agree with you so it's more about keeping yourself yes motivated with a mission and yes. money is a lagging indicator of success. Right? Exactly. It's not the input in itself. Can you share a little bit about Grey Labs? Uh, you know, what's the idea going in? So see, we are still in early phases, yeah. uh, but I'll tell you at a high level what we did, uh, what we are building. So we, Joe, aapke 
एंटरप्राइजेस हैं जिन विच आर कंज्यूमर फेसिंग उसमें आपने कभी कॉल सेंटर पे कॉल किया है यू कॉल टाटा वोल्टाज यू कॉल आई बैंक यू हेयर अ लाइन सेइंग दिस कॉल विल बी रिकॉर्डेड फॉर ट्रेनिंग एंड क्वालिटी पर्पजेस तो जो कॉल रिकॉर्डिंग्स होती हैं उसको स्टोर किया जाता है एंड बिकॉज बड़ी कंपनीज में थाउजेंड्स ऑफ कॉल सेंटर एजेंट्स होते हैं उन कॉल्स को एनालाइज किया जाता है मैनुअली वन या टू परसेंट ऑफ द सैम्पल लेके उनकी ऑडिट करी जाती है कि एजेंट ने कस्टमर को ग्रीट किया कि नहीं एजेंट ने कस्टमर का प्रॉब्लम समझा कि नहीं फीडबैक मांगा कि नहीं सी वी कुछ कॉन्फिडेंशियल डिटेल तो नहीं मांग ली ऑल दीज थिंग्स एंड ये प्रोसेस पूरा मैनुअल होता है वॉट वी आर बिल्डिंग इज एन ऑटोमेशन फॉर दिस प्रोसेस एंड ये एक नैरो सा प्रॉब्लम से चालू किया इट्स अ स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम नॉट अ वर्ल्ड चेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम बट इट्स मीनिंगफुल मीनिंगफुल प्रॉब्लम फॉर द एंटरप्राइजेस बिकॉज उनको कॉल वॉल्यूम्स बढ़ रहा है कस्टमर्स एक्वायर ज्यादा कर रहे हैं तो कॉल सेंटर में नंबर ऑफ एजेंट्स बढ़ रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑडिट टीम का साइज भी बढ़ता जा रहा है तो हमने एक छोटा सा नैरो प्रॉब्लम पकड़ा है विच बिकम्स एन एंट्री पॉइंट लार्जर गोल आप बोलोगे अगर तो स्पीच या कॉल रिकॉर्डिंग से एक अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा है सो वॉट वी आर सेंग की लार्ज एंटरप्राइज में बहुत सारा अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा जनरेट होता है स्पीच है ई मेल है या आपके और भी तरह के जो इंटरनेट डॉक्यूमेंट्स हैं कैसे हम इस अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा को स्ट्रक्चर करके एक प्रोडक्ट उसके अराउंड बिल्ड करें दैट्स द गोल एंड वी आर यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज ऑफ जनरेटिव ए आई लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल स्पीच टू टेक्स एंड दोज कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो दैट्स द यू नो शॉर्ट एंड लॉन्ग फॉर्म ऑफ वॉट वी आर बिल्डिंग सो यू यूज फ्यू टर्म्स राइट सो ऑब्वियसली दर इज अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड डेटा दर इज ए आई एंड दर एंटरप्राइज सो आई एम गोइंग टू पुश यू अ लिटल बिट एंड आस्क क्वेश्चन ऑन दोज वन फाउंडर टोल्ड मी दर इज प्रोबली अ लेट मूवर एडवांटेज टू ऑल थिंग्स ए आई यू नो लाइक स्विच ऑफ ट्विटर गो आउट फॉर अ वॉक कम बैक टू ईयर्स लेटर मे बी द टेक्नोलॉजी हैज मेच्योर्ड एंड सेटल डाउन एंड नाउ यू know sort of what are the capabilities and what to build so every technology has a life cycle in the beginning uh, uh, they are not uh, uh, established use cases what can be done it is not that matured enough not a lot of things can be handled in that and then there is a phase when uh, it is reasonably mature that now it can be used for real world applications and then there is a declining phase something new comes up right so i think this phase uh, when uh, it is reasonably mature is the right time to build applications around the technology right so uh, because enough research has happened now you can actually do something with that so maybe so, on that i'll ask you right if i compare it to internet are we at like internet in 1994 or internet in like 2001 with the broadband wave right so यार हम चार पांच साल के थे आप हमें उस टाइम पे लेके जा रहे हो ओके बैड एग्जांपल सो मे बी आई कम ओके नाउ आई एम रिवीलिंग माय एज इन द प्रोसेस सो मे बी वील टेक अ मोर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन बट इज दिस द ब्लैकबेरी एंड विंडोज ओएस फेज और इज दिस द आईफोन सॉर्ट ऑफ फेज इन द मोबाइल एरा राइट आई एम ट्राइंग टू कैच अप विद योर नो सो अगेन डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन हम मिडिल क्लास फैमिली से आते हैं हमने आईफोन जब 2007 में लॉन्च हुआ था मैं सेवंथ क्लास में था मतलब ना फोन मिलेगा ना आईफोन कुछ नहीं मिलेगा सो देखिए मैं आपका क्वेश्चन आंसर करता हूँ राइट की लेट्स टेक अ स्टेप बैक कि अभी बनाना क्यों चाहिए आई थिंक एज एन ऑन्टरप्रिनर मुझे मजा आता है एक्सपेरिमेंट करने में राइट टेक्नोलॉजी जब मेच्योर हो जाएगी तो उसमें ज्यादा एस्पेक्ट जो बचता है कि इसको कमर्शलाइज कैसे करें बट आई एन्जॉय द थ्रिल ऑफ को क्रिएटिंग एंड फाइंडिंग यूज केसेस ऑफ दैट टेक्नोलॉजी विद द कस्टमर आज हम जब कस्टमर्स के साथ बैठते हैं ना बहुत सारी चीजें ब्रेन स्टॉर्म होती है सिर्फ ये डिस्कस नहीं होता है कि ये फाइनल है इसको हम ऐसे इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं डिस्कशन होता है कि यार इसका और क्या कर सकते हैं हमारे पास बहुत अच्छे अच्छे यूज केसेज आ रहे हैं जनरेटिव ए के लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स के जो मैंने भी नहीं सोचे मतलब जैसे स्पीच का मैंने आपको भी बताया कि कॉल रिकॉर्डिंग्स को हम एनालाइज कर रहे हैं एक बैंक ने मुझे बोर्ड मीटिंग की पूरी रिकॉर्डिंग पकड़ा दी और बोला कि आप इसका कुछ कर सकते हो क्या कोई और बोल रहा है कि यार हमारे पास ईमेल्स आते हैं उसमें कुछ कर सकते हो क्या सो so, बहुत सारे यूज केसेस निकल के आते हैं अब जब ऐसे प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स कस्टमर थ्रो करते हैं ना तब मजा आता है डिस्कशंस में क्योंकि मुझे भी नहीं पता है कि ऑफ द शेल्फ में ये टेक्नोलॉजी उठाऊंगा तो मेरा सोल्यूशन बन जाएगा मुझे उसके लिए फिगर आउट करना रहेगा क्या टेक्नोलॉजी बनानी है एंड देन फिगर आउट कराना है करना रहेगा कैसे बनानी है सो दैट डिस्कवरी फेज आई थिंक द एक्साइटमेंट ऑफ दैट डिस्कवरी फेज इज वॉट इज यू नो पुटिंग अस इन अ सिचुएशन वेयर हम बोल रहे हैं चलो एक और स्टार्टअप बनाते हैं अभी अभी जनरेटिव ए को एक साल हुआ है कुछ यूज केसेज इस्टेब्लिश हो गया बट इंडिया में इट्स वेरी वेरी अर्ली प्रैक्टिकली जीरो अडॉप्शन है प्रैक्टिकली मतलब और लोग बोलते हैं ना कि ए का मास अडॉप्शन कब आएगा देखिए क्लाउड आज भी अडॉप्शन चल रहा है क्लाउड के आज भी किराना स्टोर वाला पेपर पेन पे लिखता है तो क्लाउड अभी वहाँ पे नहीं पहुंचा है वो बहुत सारे स्टार्टअप्स आ रहे हैं बट अभी फुल स्केल में नहीं पहुंचे हैं तो ए में बहुत टाइम लगेगा टेक्नोलॉजी मेच्योर होने में तो हम पाँच दस साल सात साल वेट नहीं कर सकते हैं कि जब पूरी मेच्योर होगी यू में उसके
लेट मूवर एडवांटेज है मेरे हिसाब से अर्ली मूवर का भी बहुत बड़ा बेनिफिट है आज जिस बैंक के साथ या जिस एंटरप्राइज के साथ मैं बैठ के यूज केस को क्रिएट कर रहा हूँ उनको मेरी ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग स्किल्स मेरी कैपेबिलिटीज इन जनरल पता लग रही है तो कल को जब टेक्नोलॉजी मेच्योर होगी ना कुछ नया उनको पता लगेगा जो मैं नहीं कर रहा हूँ वो मेरे पास आएंगे सो मैं डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन भी बिल्ड कर रहा हूँ साथ में एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन द थ्रिल एंड फन ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन बट एट द सेम टाइम बिल्डिंग अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अर्ली ऑन विद द कस्टमर दोनों के एडवांटेजेस सो आई थिंक द राइट टाइम इज समेयर when the technology is about to get mature or it's just matured because not a lot of applications are made so you have an early mover advantage for making the applications you can be the first player and everything at the same time technology is mature enough that it can handle the practical use cases so i personally look at it like that ai for example right now is probably at that stage only because a bit 3 4 years earlier also it was not at a stage that something meaningful can come out of it Uh, but right now yes there is a mammoth variety of uh, applications that can be made using ai not many people are made, are making it right now because there is a lot of confusion about what can be done so i personally feel that that is the right time so ai right now is the internet of uh, like when probably it started gaining momentum so would it be fair to say like at least generative ai finally living up to the promise but from a customer perspective i think the world is still catching up to sort of think creatively about you know what are the possibilities or where can it be applied to and it's to some degree like swimming in the ocean with these customers like going with the currents figuring out what can be built yes i think a generative ai right now is a 10 10 12 years old kid can do a lot of things still learning <laughs> to do a lot of things but yeah there is enough potential and uh, there will come a stage when it will actually be able to do a lot more things than today so yeah yeah so my view here is that ki uh, i enjoy that early uh, wala phase right your you as you mentioned ki some other founder said ki late mover ka benefit hai i think there is no right or wrong answer here early mover mein ek benefit hota hai ki you get to experiment on a lot of things so as a founder i love experimentation i love co-creating things with the customer uh, i love uh, you know sitting and having that discussions and brainstorming sessions सो एक बार टेक्नोलॉजी बन गई है मेच्योर हो गई है तो इट बिकम्स वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड देन इट बिकम्स लेस ऑफ अ टेक्नोलॉजी गेम मोर ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन गेम फॉर अ ऑलरेडी मेच्योर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड प्रोडक्ट दैट यू हैव क्रिएटेड अभी के फेज में जहां मार्केट एग्जिस्ट नहीं करता है या मार्केट बहुत अर्ली स्टेजेस में उसका अपना मजा है आप कस्टमर के साथ बैठो डिस्कस करो मेनी टाइम्स कस्टमर्स थ्रो प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स टू अस एंड से कि कैन यू फाइंड आउट इफ यू नो यू कैन बिल्ड अ टेक्नोलॉजी और अ सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस सो वो सोचने में मजा आता है एंड आई थिंक दैट्स द पार्ट आई पर्सनली एन्जॉय so honestly i have not thought too much into ki abhi timing kyun sahi hai abhi karna chahiye nahi matlab it's a uh, like hota na exotel se acquisition after acquisition hamara tenure over ho gaya we said we'll move out and start a new venture that's it abhi generative ai market mein demand hai customers experiment karna chahte hain so wherever there is experimentation there is eventually an opportunity to chalo pursue karte hain that's how my thinking is itna deep mein socha nahi hai to be very honest spend time in market yes. learn from customers yes. and build distribution in yes. the process uska fayda bhi hota hai ki if you work with a customer solve an unsolved problem for them they will become a customer for life they will always come to you for anything that they want new and wo fir matlab maza aata hai yaar unke sath kaam karne mein fir wo aapka next product jo banna hai wo customer aapko fir next problem statement denge and you can work with them so i enjoy that part like it's a personal decision for you but how did you think about building for the us versus building for india uh, we experimented building for the us uh, also in the early phases i talked to a lot of founders and uh, eventually i realized was that uh, you have to be in the us to actually uh, like make for the us in the most perfect way because uh, what happens is if you are sitting in india making for the us a lot of companies in the past have done that for example freshworks is there so who is there or not but that playbook is now uh, not as new as it was earlier and it's not as effective right now because there's a lot of competition also so uh, so what is preferred is that you go to the us so as to get the insights first hand instead of getting lagging insights while sitting in india because there will be some competitor of yours sitting in the us who will have those insights earlier than you will move faster than you and and be ahead so there is no point in playing a game where you know what is the point and right so uh, personally uh, we decided to stay back in mumbai only a lot of personal reasons our parents are also here and we personally love this place so so we decided consciously to not move to the us and then if you're not moving there then play the indian game because over here we understand the market we know and the behavior is also very different uh, between a us customer and an indian customer so we consciously decided to 
like work for the India Indian market right now. And then maybe later on when we plan to expand, then we can just explore. But as of now, we are looking at the Indian market. You mentioned Mumbai, so that's an interesting topic. We will come to that. But uh, just a follow up to that, right? India as a market, hot topic of conversation, is it big enough? Not yet. Right, if you ask me, ki Aman, uh, billion dollar SaaS company you can make in this market, mein, not yet. Uh, with time, market will mature, market will become bigger. Multiple products you will have to bring. And uh, uh, like, it's not that you have a single product and the US is what you have. So, what is the benefit in 10 times more businesses, 10 times more paying power. So, your market is 100 times more. And so, that, uh, the, the, the size of the opportunity is bigger. India is a little difficult, hai, uh, for sure. Indian customers are relatively price sensitive compared to Western markets. And the number of companies in India is also lesser. But if you go deep, work with the customers and build multiple products, then I think there is a large enough opportunity. Matlab, not necessarily a multi-billion dollar opportunity, but I think if you if you stay at it, if you layer a lot of products uh, over time, like over a five year, seven year journey, if you layer four or five products, then I think a large enough business can be built in India uh, as well. Distribution will play a key role because in India may trust ka problem hota hai. people don't want to work with service providers who they don't trust and because of obvious reasons ki koi default kar hai, koi advance payment leke bhaag ja hai, and so on and so forth so wo jo, whoever can crack the distribution and layer multiple products on top of it will be able to build a big business and in fact that's the belief we, uh, with which we are also building Grey Labs AI. We have relationships with the customers and our approach is the same as you are customers with the customers, you are working with trust establish karo. you know, whatever you promise, your sales team promise will eventually deliver ho raha hai, and then they come back to you to buy again. So that way, the market opportunity is there big enough. Yes, the enterprises, especially the financial enterprises, they have a lot of technology spending. So over there, the market is huge, but if we talk about SMB customers, if you're targeting Indian SMB customers, probably that is not that huge as yeah. of now, but yeah, it will increase. Got it. So just continuing on this theme, right? You mentioned like these large enterprise clients, obviously with Cogno AI, you sold to a lot of banks before. So as a young founder or even back then as a first time founder, how do you go about acquiring enterprise clients, especially you know, regulated industries, places where people don't want to take risk? What was your secret? See, uh, it's difficult. Let me put it that way. It's not easy at all. But a few things that work for us, right? Number one, find references in the network. So we are fortunate to be from IIT Bombay and IIT Kanpur respectively. So we have a lot of alums who are big, big banks and financial institutions ke senior positions. Pe hai. Somebody is a CTO, CEO, CIO and so on and so forth. So you can always find a reference to them in the network, right? Uh, so our alumni ke WhatsApp groups hain, just you add that so and so person se milna hai, some other 1998 batch alum will reply ki, yeah, yeah, this person is my batchmate and a friend. I can introduce you, give a warm intro. So you can trust ka problem solve ho jata hai aapka, because as I mentioned, right, ki people don't want to buy with pe from people who they don't trust. The moment you say ki, look, I am also a fellow IIT, and there is a soft corner, right? And in fact, that's the unfair advantage if you say ki aap you are making Grey Labs, unfair advantage ke access to the market. So that is point number one. Point number two is that over time, we started learning that selling to an enterprise is not about uh, selling to one person. There is business, IT, information security, legal, compliance, finance, procurement. Seven people are in one person, so your deal stopped. So we started building playbooks, like today the data security team. Hai. They want to see very obvious things, ki, jo VAPT reports, hoti hai, vulnerability assessment, penetration testing, is it or not? ISO is it or not? SOC 2 is it or not? RBI's SAR audit is it or not? So these 4-5 we started productizing. So it's like, look at sales process as a product that your company is offering to the end customer. Data security, you can day one these things on day one. You won't put your mind on your mind and say, okay, from our side. Otherwise, if you go through the entire audit process, it will take three months and it elongates your sales cycle. So when you are competing with a service provider, which doesn't have certifications, and you go and say, I have it ready. And you go and say, look, three other competing banks, which are your size and scale, or probably bigger than you, they are my customers. You automatically fast track the process and that becomes your unfair advantage. Eventually, you have to buy a customer. They have to make a decision that you versus someone else. And if you are able to show these unfair advantages in the sales process, in the sales journey, it becomes an easy decision for them. That is number one. We also leveraged that a bank 
और फिर उसके सब्सिडरीज के पास गए सेइंग कि लुक बैंक इज माय कस्टमर सो यू गेट अ बैंक गो टू देयर लाइफ इंश्योरेंस आर्म गो टू देयर जनरल इंश्योरेंस स्टॉक ब्रोकिंग आर्म एंड से कि लुक द बैंक हैज इवेल्युएटेड मी डन माय कंप्लीट ड्यू डिलीजेंस हेयर इज माय एग्रीमेंट कॉपी विद द बैंक माय कमर्शियल्स आर देयर द प्राइस व्हिच बैंक हैज साइंड अप विद मी इज एज इट इज कॉपी पेस्टेड हेयर माय सिक्योरिटी अप्रूवल माय कंप्लायंस अप्रूवल लीगल अप्रूवल ऑल ऑफ दैट इज देयर यू गिव मी अ गो हेड आई विल स्टार्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन फ्रॉम टुमारो यू डोंट हैव टू यूज योर ब्रेन्स सो ऑल ऑफ दीस थिंग्स वी फिगर्ड आउट इन द प्रोसेस की हाउ डू यू मेक द बाइंग प्रोसेस फॉर द CXO very effortless and smooth having references having ready made you know documents approval certifications having a a backing of a of their parent entity which is the bank using you as a customer as a service provider all of that we figured out in the process and that really helped us acquire uh, a lot of these enterprise customers so that's probably downstream right so let me talk about landing that first client right yes. and no one wants to jump first so they are waiting for yes. someone else to take the leap right and uh, again banks usually would make the same safe choice right every cio thinks that i will not get fired if i pick salesforce yes. for example right now big company has all the trust the security the certifications right so what do you do to win that first customer right or what does it come down to and maybe the answer is simpler than and we over complicate this but how do you land that first client so i'll talk about our first client acquisition journey back in 2017 we onboarded state bank of india as our first customer so some of this by the way what i'm going to tell is an unfair advantage that may not be replicable for everyone else so iit bombay incubation cell is an investor in our company right we were incubated at sign the iit yeah. bombay yeah, incubation cell this is the previous cell. company company yeah the previous company of course and they were they had a memorandum of understanding with sbi that sbi will evaluate give a fair chance of evaluation to the startups that come through sign so that's how we went to sbi obviously that's just the first meeting getting the foot in the door we we did the first meeting they liked us and said ki wow at that time we were building chatbots for banks and financial institution they liked us and said ki fine go and incorporate a company because it was me and my earlier co-founder two people not even a private limited entity so when we you know uh, went back and incorporated a company it took about a month's worth of time when we went back to sbi they had forgotten about us in that one month they forgot obviously they meet keep on meeting multiple service providers and all we figured out ki they liked us now we are not going empty handed because with two three other banks they had turned us down so sbi mein hum piche lag gaye unke jo uh, one person was there we convinced him ki boss please gate pass bana diya karo aap hum aake aapke office mein baith jayenge we used to sit every day outside the cabin of that dgm whom we met after two three days he understood ye log khali hath nahi jane wale and he said ki look first july ko bank ka foundation day aa raha hai why don't you build a chatbot solution at that time we wanted to originally build a voice bot company and fir unhone bola voice wagera hamara channel bahut high volumes aati hain call center pe we can't experiment with a startup like yours chatbot aap bana lo static question answer dal dena ki customer puch raha hai what is the interest rate of home loan to wo interest rate aa jaye ya how do i apply for it what documents are required ye sab jo static questions hain home loan car loan personal loan स्कोप नैरो डाउन कर दिया अभी स्टैटिक क्वेश्चन आंसर है उसमें कुछ डेटा ब्रीच का चांसेस क्लोज टू जीरो है कुछ भी क्या ही कोई कस्टमर डेटा है ही नहीं होम लोन का इंटरेस्ट रेट पब्लिक है उनकी वेबसाइट पे दिस इज मोर ऑफ अ कन्वीनियंस टूल दैट दे वांटेड टू मेक एक्सेसिबल ऑन देर वेबसाइट वाया चैट इंटरफेस दैट सेट सो स्कोप नैरो डाउन कर लिया लार्ज इंपैक्ट वाली चीजें नहीं करी टू बिगिन विथ तो एकदम छोटा सा प्रोजेक्ट बन गया उसके कमर्शियल्स रिलेटिवली कम थे स्कोप नैरोअर था डेटा ब्रीच का चांसेस कम था एंड इवेंचुअली थोड़ा परसिस्टेंस लगा लॉन्ग एंड आई एम कटिंग डाउन द स्टोरी परसिस्टेंस लगा बट देन वी वेंट लाइव विद एस बी आई ना कपल ऑफ मंथ्स सो दैट्स हाउ वी लैंडेड आर फर्स्ट कस्टमर एस बी आई रेफर्ड टू एस बी आई लाइफ इंश्योरेंस दे आर इवेल्युएटिंग पार्टनर्स फॉर चैट बॉट एंड सेम चीज विच आई टोल्ड यू इन माई प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो कि एस बी आई का रेफरेंस था जाके बोला कि सर देखो एस बी आई से एक कॉन्ट्रैक्ट है ऐसा वैसा है खत्म दे स्टॉप देर आर एफ ई प्रोसेस एंड सेट की एस बी आई का ऑलरेडी है मतलब ऑनबोर्डेड पार्टनर सो इट्स अ नो ब्रेनर फॉर अस दे हैव सम गाइडलाइंस इंटरनली कि ग्रुप पेरेंट एंटिटी का अगर कोई सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है दे कैन टेक इट अप राइट सो ऑल ऑफ दैट हेड डस एक्वायर कस्टमर्स इनिशियली बट एन एस बी आई वॉट रियली वर्क वॉज की वी वर वेरी परसिस्टेंट जब उन्होंने वेन दे फॉर गॉट अबाउट अस वी डिड नॉट फॉरगेट दैम वी सेट कि अब तो करना है कुछ भी करके इतना बड़ा बैंक है थोड़ा इंटरेस्ट दिखाया मतलब प्रॉब्लम एग्जिस्ट करता है परसिस्ट करते हैं डिसकम्फर्ट आ रहा है कोई बात नहीं लेट्स show them our face every single day let's show up every single day meet them give them that comfort and why you are and fir uh, unhone hame 15 din ka by the way time diya tha ki ek demo banane ke liye hum 7 din mein pahunch gaye so once they start seeing ki yaar ye fatafat kar rahe hain they are giving me that special treatment main jo bol raha hu bana ke de de rahe hain timely bana ke de de rahe hain so customer ko comfort lane ki deri hoti hai ek bar comfort aa gaya they will buy so hack your way into the office yeah. don't take no for an answer right yes. de risk by like no customer data Correct. easy Correct. convenient choice for the customer so they can Correct. take that bet ship fast build comfort yes right. okay i know you mentioned 
AI, we've covered a lot of that. We've covered enterprise. Let's talk a little bit about talent and then we'll talk about talent in Bombay, right? Because that's also an interesting subject. But uh, like, what's your secret to, again, hiring and retaining engineering talent, right? And I'm imagining Bombay has, again, a lot of tech companies, high cost of living. You were bootstrapping at the time, right? So uh, what's your secret sauce? Yeah, so in my previous venture, I used to look at product and engineering. And in engineering, especially like around COVID and after COVID, they, there was like a sudden increase in salaries of the people. And then there was like huge attrition. People 2021. 20, <laughs> 20, 20, 20, of course, 21. Yeah. yeah, it was difficult to hire in 2020. And it was difficult to retain in 2021. Especially if we talk about the engineering talent, people were just switching companies like crazy. The salaries were increasing ridiculous, so much. Ridiculous, yeah. It was a ridiculous time at that time. So, uh, but still if I talk about it, so in our engineering team, except for the people, uh, some people who were not uh, like suited for the team and we had to let go. Other than that, so there was zero to five percent attrition, honestly. And the people who have been with us, like they have been with us since several years, like it has been their first job at Cogno and they had been continuing with us till, till the time that we were there. So if I would say the secret sauce is culture, we had a very strong culture in Cogno. Like everybody, so see the average age was around 25 years or so. Everybody was super energetic. They had like full mission in life that they have to do great and all. So a lot of people, because the first company was Cogno, uh, they they do not have any other cultural uh, backlog in mind kind of, right? So they, they, they got accustomed to the culture very quickly. So I think that was the main secret sauce. Culture is not about that swanky offices and uh, swags given and all those things. Uh, I personally feel that is how much you care for your team members and how much they feel that uh, we are working together as a team, as a family, whatever. Like, we were personally very bonded with our team members. So I'll just give you an example. There was one person uh, in who was earlier in an engineering team that later moved on to product. So uh, his mom had gotten uh, this COVID in the first or second wave. Second wave. Second wave, yeah. So, and uh, and he had lost his dad uh, earlier. So, so when he told, and he was still working, he was in the hospital, he was still working. And we said that you take care of your mom. And he was like, yeah, mom is fine because she's anyway in the hospital. I'm just sitting outside so I can work. And uh, so that kind of dedication. And then uh, we were like, okay, so are you facing any challenges and what? And then Remdesivir was very difficult to get at that time, right? And uh, so when he told us, so what uh, we both did was that we just broadcasted that whoever has Remdesivir, please let us know and everywhere, like uh, Insta, WhatsApp, everywhere. And then one, at that time, it was very difficult to get. One of his friends, I think from Hyderabad, he was able to arrange somehow. And then uh, we got that medicine, his, got administered to his mother and his mother's life got saved. So like we are like that uh, level connected to the people that uh, whatever the problem, person, professional, anything, just come discuss because we were also like uh, almost a similar age, right? So that bonding that that depicted in our culture and everybody was caring about everybody like that. So that bonded people together, low attrition and people were say, our Glassdoor rating was around 4.45 or something. 4.6. 4.6 at the time of acquisition, yeah. And it remained around that uh, for a long period of time. Uh, even though we had like no perks, we did not even used to like uh, uh, give uh, uh, laptops for quite some time and insurance and all. At that time, it was not there. Saturdays working. Saturdays were working, <laughs> all six working days. But still that class two rating, I think because it was totally attributable to the culture. I agree. I think it's a culture you build where people feel that they are learning, they are earning and they have ownership, right? And the company also shows ownership towards them. We, we never uh, ran it like a proper large MNC, large corporate. If there is something that has come to the customer at 3 o'clock, then it's not that the developer said, you see, your problem is not. We are also sitting with you. So the team members also appreciate the fact that my founders, it's not that I have hit my job and they are you know, just uh, letting me handle the situation. They are with me. If I am facing a problem, they are also sitting there. So that, that team starts to bond with the founders and the rest of the people very, very well. We used to go out on, uh, you know, trips with the team, ya fir koi saath mein dinner kar rahe hain, saath mein celebration kar rahe hain, kisi ka birthday hai, to cake wagera manga rahe hain. So these small gestures where you show love and affection towards your team members, they go a long way. And as Harshita mentioned ki, kisi ke life mein kuch personal problem hai, to then it's not about ki bhai, your problem, you handle it, no. Eventually, if the person has a problem in their personal life, it will impact their work and the, their work will impact the company. So then we go 
ओवर एंड अबव राइट वी से कि यार ठीक है हमारा ही बंदा है ही है और या हमारे टीम मेंबर हैं वी वी शुड हेल्प देम इन वॉट एवर वे पॉसिबल सो बी इट हेल्पिंग दैम फाइनेंशियली ओवर एंड अबव द सैलरी बी इट अरेंजिंग मेडिसिन और कुछ भी रहता है वी आर ऑलवेज देयर कि यार लेट्स अनबर्डन द टीम मेंबर एज मच एज पॉसिबल एंड दैट हैज हेल्प अस रिटेन पीपल फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड यू नो इट वॉज नॉट अ कॉन्शियस स्ट्रैटेजी ऐसा नहीं है कि हम एक्सपीरियंस फाउंडर हैं हमें रिटेंशन का प्रॉब्लम आया तो हमने बैठ के बोला कि अच्छे काम करो इट वॉज यू नो अंदर से निकल के आया कि यार टीम मेंबर है उसकी लाइफ में प्रॉब्लम आ रहा है मैं नहीं हेल्प करूंगा तो कौन करेगा उसकी मम्मी बीमार है उसके फादर नहीं है और मैं बोलूँ कि भाई तेरे को काम करना है तो फिर मतलब आई एम अ बैड ह्यूमन बींग मोर देन अ बैड फाउंडर मोर देन अ बैड ऑन्टरप्रेनर आई एम अ बैड ह्यूमन बींग हेल्प करना मेरा काम है मैं करूंगा वो कोई और भी होता बाहर का भी इंसान होता मेरी पहचान वाला होता तो मैं सामने से मेडिसिन अरेंज करके देता सो हैविंग दैट नेचर एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द डी एन ए विदाउट लुकिंग एट उसका फाइनेंशियल बेनिफिट क्या है ऑलवेज नॉट नॉट हैविंग कमर्शियल इंटेंट एवरीवेयर दैट हेल्प दस अलॉट आई थिंक विद दैट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू एंड विद अ क्विक फायर राउंड सो आई लास्क अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन यू गिव मी योर फर्स्ट रिएक्शन एंड आई दर ऑफ यू कैन पिक इट अप वॉट सरप्राइज यू अबाउट दिस एंटायर जन आई वेव accuracy matlab uh, we are into ai space for last 7 years but now the level it with, uh, to which it has the intelligence has actually reached is just mind boggling yeah and for me i think what surprised was like how quickly it happened i know open ai has been since several years and all but like it was once they released chat gpt it was sudden uh, like we can see a lot of use cases we can see a lot of accuracy and everything before that it was not that much so that sudden uh, increment was a bit surprising yeah. like it is said that sometimes it happens uh, uh, like little things in decades and sometimes decades happen in little time so i think this was <laughs> what surprised flip side to that what worries you about it uh, keeping up to it yes yes every single day there is something new customer calls you and says ki hey aman i saw this twitter post what do you think about it and i have no idea that's the biggest worry <laughs> yeah and and how can you make the best use of it because it geni ai is real i mean it is not a hype so yes. you have to actually keep up to it so that is very some also and interesting also sam altman when he visited india said it's hopeless for teams in india to compete with open ai on foundation models agree or disagree i disagree yeah with with enough uh, money also obviously is involved and see ultimately india china russia the tech talent is uh, huge right these people go a lot in us and then do a lot of uh, like ground breaking work so if they stay back in india we can make a lot of better things so yeah yeah i mean uh, tough to say agree or disagree because as a country we have not demonstrated that we we have built such a ground breaking technology but at the same time it now is a great time where a lot of talented people are moving back to india from the us and so maybe something like this comes up in the future from india itself for a founder what's the secret to a happy marriage trust same value system and uh, appreciating each other's work and effort and understanding that ki uh, yeah we and and yeah the summarizing everything we both are in it together we work as a machine not as two spare parts that is the secret sauce to a happy marriage same <laughs> <laughs> if you had to call your younger self up the day before you were starting the first company what would you say start a little more early I have uh, one small regret which I always say ki I started the company in fourth year or around the end of fourth year I spent a matlab uh, while she argues ki that's your that was your advantage that you completed your degree properly and then got into entrepreneurship I feel that if I would have started maybe in third year second year uh, it would have been even better so that small thing ki please start early academics is good but please start applying it in real life Yeah I think focus more on your strengths than trying to cover up of your, your weaknesses and uh, try to be the best version of yourself instead of getting influenced by people around you because everybody has a different story nature and everything you don't know 100% of it not replicable so just just sharpen your own axe and be the best version of yourself hiring tech talent in bombay easy or difficult slightly difficult because people have a lot of questions bombay is an expensive city what will happen and everything So uh yeah but once you tell them the the pros of Bombay like it's it's a good city and it has a lot of companies and everything so yeah uh you can hire slightly difficult but manageable two observations from my side number 1 people from Gujarat are quite willing to move to Mumbai it's a large metro city near their location uh and it's still nearer to their state right ne- to their hometown so m- many of them want to move to Mumbai instead of going to Bangalore right so that is so you can tap that talent that is number 1 and number 2 people who are localites of mumbai they don't have a problem of expensive cost of housing because they likely stay with their parents and because they stay in mumbai they don't want to move to bangalore 
So then hiring, ta- tapping these two talent pools has given us good returns. As a Gujarati, I love Bombay, so I agree See, with that. You have yeah. a live, <laughs> here is a live example, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I think with that, we'll wrap. Uh, thank you so much uh, once again for doing this together. Really excited to build Grey Labs with you guys. And uh, again, thank you for the privilege of the partnership. No, thank you so much. Privilege is ours and we are very excited to, you know, build the first example of India-focused SaaS company. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you.